Ugudo Products, located in Masaka sector in Gasaba district, produces a number of soft drinks. Operating from a residential area, this factory is an example of so many other small plants that produce food and beverages on a large scale and serve markets almost as big as bigger farms authorized by the market regulators. This creates unfair competition, according to some businesses in the same sector. If a fully-fledged manufacturer is selling the same alcohol at 500 Ronan francs and meets another person whose product is made from his house and is sold at 100 Ronan francs, a buyer will consider the price, not the standard. To get, to, to, uh, get our S mark or be certified, you have to uh, uh, adhere to many uh, uh, very strict uh, quality conditions. Well, to try and sell flour at, the, at, at, at a competitive price. If, 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 we, if it was a level playing field, we would have no problem. We, we are not trying to dominate, we are just trying to have a level playing field. In other words, all the companies that produce maize flour must produce it under the same conditions. Despite creating unfair competition, some people say they prefer buying substandard products because they are, they are relatively cheap, even though some admit to being aware of the possible health risks involved. There's a time I bought yogurt and when I opened it, it was already spoiled, yet its expiry date was still valid. These products are usually cheap. You will get a drink in a certain liquor store buying at 20,000 Rada francs and go to another store where it's sold 5,000. I will buy the cheaper one without considering its safety. Despite the concerns, Rwanda Food and Drug Authority appears to know the existence of substandard products on the market. According to Food and Drugs Authority, just 13 food and beverage farms out of 635 have fulfilled the required standards and have the right to export their products on the international market, while the remaining 622 plants are yet to fulfill the required standards, which could pose a health risk to the consumers. These substandard plants are negatively affecting the able producers with quality investment. We have issued standard guidelines to every producer outlining everything they need to do. We are going to act upon the report we have right away because we cannot wait until people have been food poisoned to act. We need to emphasize on the quality of production to increase competitiveness of locally made products on the market. In 2017, Rwanda Standards Board launched a campaign locally known as Zamu Kanubuzira Nenje to promote standards among small agro industries. Out of the 48 farms that benefited from the initial program, only 23 products from 23 farms were certified with S mark of quality. 15 other products received the S mark between 2019 and 2020.